Hi there, Capricorn. Welcome back to Magic Group Work of Love and Prosperity. Uh, I'm Aunt Roslyn, and thank you so much for coming in and liking, sharing, and subscribing. Um, and I just appreciate so much all of the newcomers that I've been speaking to. Thank you for all of those who have placed orders with RootsofEarth.net or personal private readings with me. I also would like to tell you about uh, the new services I have available. They're not new to me, but you can take advantage right now, uh, Capricorn, of 30 minutes of Reiki distance healing on any issue or topic you have uh, right now for only $18 for a session. And that also comes with a short uh, summary of any kind of energies that I detected or picked up during your Reiki session. Uh, you can also take advantage of a very quick short summary reading. It's only 10 minutes for $11. So that information is in the link below. I just want to give everyone a little bit of a boost, a little bit of help um, in the extra way because right now is the time for everyone, everyone, everyone to be manifesting and breaking through. Tonight is the 23rd, and there's this beautiful portal open again. So August 2018 has been such a blessing to all of us, Capricorn. I just want to, you know, see that materialize for everyone. Everyone should be, you know, able to access some of this beautiful energy. If you would like to be included in any of my next uh, rituals for tonight or for the 26th of August, which is full moon in Pisces for love. If you would like to be included, please give me a message. Or you can just go to my PayPal, Roots of Earth, uh, and, you know, check out that way. It's only $22 per ritual right now, which is a good savings because it's normally $44. Okay? So I want to tell you right now, Capricorn, it looks like there are some major, major changes happening. Okay, I'm going to move the cards up just a little bit so you can see them a little better. I've been sitting with the cards and I've been listening to spirit. I do work with a lot of different spirit guides and saints, um, the ancestral energy as well. Um, and it looks like Capricorn, it's, it's a time for you to go ahead and break free from some of these bonds that have been holding you in place. Okay. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is that you have a wonderful work ethic, Capricorn. You are very fixed. You are also very reliable. A lot of people rely on you. And for the past uh, while, it could have been just a couple of months. It could have been a couple of years, Capricorn. When you look behind you, you realize that you have been struggling, However, by you being Capricorn, you have a little bit of a hard time actually stating that, actually walking into that, that you feel vulnerable, that you feel like it's, it's so many tasks on you, people in the family, they rely on you. People at your job, even Capricorn, they rely on you to just get everything done, to be consistent, to take charge of things that are even difficult. Okay, but right now, with all of the portals we've had opening since July, Capricorn, is actually a beautiful time for you to start to see yourself and to see your life and your energy as being karmic, mystical, uh, magical. You know, you may even feel more and more like you're ready to try an in-depth kind of session or shamanic drumming. You may be looking into root work, uh, conjure, manifesting. You may have read about different forms of philosophy, magic, etc. Because all of these different aspects are starting to awaken in you right now. And right now is the time for you to go ahead and take this chariot here. Okay, you see this here, Capricorn? This is the chariot. It's time for you to take that and literally go with it. Okay, now you could be actually involved with a cancer or a water sign because this card does represent cancer, uh, Capricorn. But you see here it's crossed by the judgment card. This is all to do with past, past lives possibly, past karma. It's about things that have been so long in the making. Okay, coming forward, finally coming forward. So this is a lot to do with, 
you know, mentally how you feel right now. Because these cards, they really do indicate in their positions, Capricorn, you may be struggling with not only a relationship, it could be a job issue, a family issue where people have relied on you. And it's starting to make you feel for a while that you need to make a major decision. The King of Swords is here on your foundation, Capricorn, which means that something has been bothering you mentally. Okay, and it's something you may have put off for a while, tried to be so, so strong. Now, you've got this energy of being in a battle, kind of like you're fighting. I don't know if this is specifically to do with work. It feels like multiple people. It feels like everyone wants something. And you possibly might be involved in this Capricorn wanting to come out on top. Okay, if not, you could be involved with an air sign. Okay, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius who is fighting with you about something. Okay, it doesn't seem to be going away, Capricorn. You might have to dig deep into your intuition, your heart energy, your feelings, and look towards some healing light, some kind of higher consciousness kind of uh, energy coming in that you normally may not have looked for before, Capricorn. Okay, this Five of Swords energy, this is no good. It's no good in a relationship if your partner is an air sign and they're willing to stick it to you. You know, they're w willing to win at any cost, Capricorn. That's not good. And then this five of wands here, this is just a lot of fighting and negative energy. <clears throat> it's in your past and it's in your current situation position. Who wants to deal with that, Capricorn? This is something you're going to have to work on to try and let go. Now, I was trying to clarify with this lovers here in your in your future position, which could be tomorrow, Capricorn. I mean, it could literally be that quick. The lovers here. So this is another card that represents air sign Gemini. Are you involved with a Gemini, Capricorn? Is there a Gemini at work that's getting on your nerves? Is that why this five of swords is here? I clarify it with the star. Capricorn, this could be someone that is actually going to help you heal. The star, that's an Aquarius. That's another air sign. And it's here, clarifying the lovers. So you could be involved in a loving relationship or possibly a quarrel that you need some higher consciousness to help you out here. Okay? So whatever it is, Capricorn, it feels mental. It feels like if you were to somehow heal this and heal this somehow, allowing new energy to come in, allowing some of this past energy to help you reveal and know and understand yourself more, it feels like this could be very healing, this lovers, because this is about really being seen as equals, not just in a love relationship, but also work relationships, home, family, okay? And then I pull some additional cards here, Capricorn. The Knight of Swords. A lot of mental issues, a lot of mental clarity and messages coming in to you here with the King of Swords. That's huge. Huge. It's something you need to do. Something you need to take care of. I feel like if you do, you're going to have a lot more of this. This is the Four of Wands, Capricorn. This could be happening right in your family, right in your marriage. Okay, this is all about happy home, balance. You know, happy kids, happy family. Not this. It's like the opposite of this. You see what I'm saying? Four of Wands and Five of Wands. And then we have the Fool card. Okay, this is another card that came for the clarity. This is about a brand new beginning. A brand new start, Capricorn. And I feel like this has to do with the star card. Definitely. Because look at how healing this is. Love equality, healing, the full. And, you know, it's like going forward with this new energy, okay? So let's pull a few of um, the Romance Oracle cards just to see because I really wanted to know what's going on here. So we might as well check into the love life a little bit, Capricorn, right? While we're looking so deeply into what is manifesting here. What is going on here with Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn love life. Hmm. 
Okay, let's see here. Soulmate. Okay. So Capricorn, it says, yes, this is your soulmate. So that's pretty clear. That's a pretty clear answer from spirit. <laughs> yes, this is your soulmate. So I feel like, as I'm studying here, I feel like I'm being told that this is going to be a union or a reunion, okay? So if this is a looking like and feeling like this is applying to you, possibly, Capricorn, that soulmate is coming. Possibly they're coming. Okay, the next card is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, okay? So what I'm getting here is that, yes, for a lot of you listening, this is going to be uh, soulmate energy here, okay, to do with a soulmate wedding. The situation involves marriage. So this is on the bottom of the deck, okay? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps. So this is pretty clear, uh, Capricorn, because here it's like you have to go ahead and make the steps to change. Healing you know, equality, healing, new beginnings. And here we've got soulmate, free yourself. So free yourself from some of these patterns of old behavior and bickering, arguing. So it's like you're reaching up higher to get to this, okay? Then wedding. I mean, look at how clear that is. This situation involves marriage. This could be your soulmate that you've really wanted to be on that level with them. You just need to make more of the effort. Okay, Capricorn, I mean, it looks pretty clear. So whether this is work or love, it looks like you've got things going in your favor because the forward position is such good energy. Okay, Capricorn, so I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up or share it. And uh, my information is in the box below if you would like a personal private reading, if you would like to try some distance healing and Reiki, um, or if you would like to go to www.rootsofearth.net and just take a look around and see how the products can help you manifest, okay? I'll check back in with you again soon, Capricorn. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.